Hello all. In today's video, I'm going to explain you what is mean by epic, what is mean by user stories with one real time example. So basically the requirements which are specified by customer are nothing but the epic or user stories. So please keep in mind one simple example. I will tell you if you want to build a particular house, right? If you want to build a house, then you have you want to build a house is a epic okay so what is the definition of epic epic is nothing but a large body of work and which is further broken down into smaller smaller stories or the task is known as a user stories and in jira it is also known as a issue so you want to build a house is one epic and then you are going to break down into different tasks like you have you have to build the walls you have to build a roof then you have to color the home you have to uh, keep the uh, means maintain the flooring you have to uh, attach means you have to build it with uh, some plumbing then you have to bring there some electricity so all other parts or, or we can say the all the task related to building the house is divided into different different functionalities right so the main functionality is what build the house and then dividing into different tasks means how we are going to build first i will make some structure right then i will build a means we can say we build one particular uh, st uh, walls there then the roof will be there then how much floors will be there so it, the detail task or the detail functionalities are divided into different different small small task or the functionalities are nothing but the user story so this is the simple example re related with the real time example so uh, with respect to standard format or what are the standard definitions of epic and user stories what is actually it related with what are the features of it we are going to see it now so i have already explained epic is nothing but the large body of work which is further divided into a user stories so now what is the definition of user stories the requirements which are specified by the customers are referred as the user stories right so these are the functionalities which are very small small functionalities as these are the some features of particular user stories like user story must be independent it must be a valuable it must be a testable it must be a negotiable it must be a estimable these are the nothing but different features of user stories so uh, firstly the user story always be a small always be a small means what it must have the only one functionality in it means if you want to build a house right and then you have to build a wall then there must be only one functionality is related with the one user story so that particular user story will be small then it must be a valuable so it must be a valuable means what it must have the value with respect to business means i want to build a house right and i am adding some extra functionality or extra feature in the house which is not useful to the end user or we can say the people who are going to live into the house so make sure whatever the features you are going to add or develop it must be a valuable right then testable means what whatever the functionality you are going to develop in particular software it must be testable means it provide the guidance to for testing then it must be a negotiable negotiable means what it must be adjustable right then the estimable means what that particular user story will be estimated according to the size of user story means how much time it will require it get explained into estimable because as further we have to assign some user story point to the story means how much hours will it take for testing or the development is nothing but the estimation of user stories so now the main part of the user story is this one the role goal benefit and acceptance criteria as user stories are having one standard format which explains as a role then what i want means goal and so that what i can means 
reason of that particular goal or the benefits of the goal is nothing but the standard format which is related with the user story so role goal benefit and acceptance criteria these are this is the standard format of particular user story so i will give you one example related with the telecom okay so for example i want to send a sms but i want functionality that i will be able to add the emojis while sending the sms means if i am typing some sms i must be able to insert some emojis this is nothing but a requirement which is specified by me or the customer right so here the product owner or the business analyst can first verify whether it is possible then the developer can looking at the user story will understand whether or what functionality i have to develop how can i start developing the particular task and at what point it will end is nothing but the explanation which is understood by the developer by reading the role goal and benefit of user stories then there must be a user story which is written is easily understood by the tester so by reading that particular user story user must be able to understand what i actually need to test or what developed functionalities i have to test so this is nothing but the user story is having a standard format it will include a role means it role may be a it may be a business analyst or it may be a developer or it may be a tester then according to that role different goals are there so the business analyst role is of verifying the developer goal is to develop tester's goal is to test then so what it benefit or what will be the output of user story is also varies according to the role as a tester you are going to verify whether the expected output is matching with the actual output so this is nothing but the structure of particular user story now we'll focus on the what is mean by this acceptance criteria so acceptance criteria are very important for unit testing so acceptance criteria is nothing but we are checking the small small modules of particular software or different different or small small functionalities and checking what will be the acceptance criteria for same means for development it i must be clear with the we can say the requirement and then for unit testing all the functionalities must be developed so this is nothing but the acceptance criteria so make sure or keep in mind that the acceptance criteria is important for the unit testing so the next important point is as we have looked at the features of the user stories or these are the points which are related with the user story user your user story must be having these all features that is independent valuable testable estimable or it may be a small and simple now we'll look at the point what actually user story contain so user story contain the user story id its name rank description story point story state and assigned to an owner okay it may vary or it may add some more points into it depending on the what tool you are using or depending on your organization what it include but these are the some basic points it must have to each and every user story so user story is nothing but so user story is a unique id or unique number which describe your user story or it uniquely identifies the your user story then user story name means for example as i have told you the example will be i want emojis in message box so i can send it while sending a sms so here the acceptance criteria will be i must be able to open the chat box or a message box right then must be i must be able to type a message and the main acceptance criteria is emojis can be added into the message and i can send the message this is nothing but the acceptance criteria related with the this particular example so the user story id will be something the story name so for example the story name will be adding the emojis to message right 
the story rank means the priority of particular story is written or mentioned in the story rank this story description is having all this point that is role goal benefit of user story is detail is explained in detail in the story description then a story point is having how much hours or how much time or how much efforts it will require to develop particular story or test particular story is included in the story point then the story state is important point the story state is having we can say the state it it describe the state of user story means is it blocked is it in progress or is it done means if you want to check the progress of user story so most of the time what happen if any defect come or if any blocker will be there the story create block it can't be proceed if it is some developers are working on it then the state will be in progress and once it complete its state will be a uh, done then the one point mainly associated with the user story is that owner of the user story means who created the user story the name of that particular owner is written over there then assigned to means this particular user story is assigned to whom it may be a tester it may be a developer the name of that particular person is mentioned in this assigned to point so please keep in mind while explaining the epic and user story you have to keep in mind the main difference between what is epic and what is user story so epic is main means epic is a large work or main work and which is further divided into user story so always remember while explaining the epic and user story try to give some real time examples so it will be very easy to understand and to explain as well so i request you please subscribe to our channel please do comment on which point you want the next video and please check all the different videos of our channel into description box as well as on the i button thank you and keep watching